Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding. Damn, official Mr. Jamaica, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing, none, you know, my dad walk on. Man, hey, man, listen, man, you know, y'all niggas don't really understand what's going down over here at Boss Talk 101. Y'all think y'all know, but y'all really gonna find out, man. It going down, man. We get some of the dopest uh, guests to come on Boss Talk 101, man. This guy right here, man, I've been rocking with him a long time. You know, if you really uh, love music, you know who this is. If you don't, nigga, you front, nigga, know your history, man. Jody <laughs> Breeze in the building. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Man, yes, sir. <laughs> what's going on? Oh my God, man! I'm chilling, big bro. Man, hey, man, it's a it's a lot I want to ask you about. A lot. I'm with it, I'm but with it. I know already she gonna. Ladies she, first. Damn. Ladies first. <laughs> but one thing I say, I love your accent. I love that Atlanta accent because not everybody mm. has that. I, we've met so many people from Atlanta, but it's mm. only a certain. I don't even have to be from a certain part of Atlanta to have that accent. But it's just some of y'all like DJ Ace. He got it. Yeah. DJ Ace. Yeah, yeah, he got Ace. that accent. Yeah, you got it. it. I can hear it. Yeah, appreciate. But it. not I mean, everybody have it. Hey, what's up? Shout out, Junior. Not so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. um, you from Atlanta? What part? Yeah. Uh, I'm from South of Atlanta, Cushing, Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't rep Atlanta? Cause one thing I know is about y'all is like it'd be like, oh, I don't rep Atlanta. I'm from such and such. It's like everybody always us. Nah, I'm with, nah, Some everybody into rip, Atlanta. You gotta rip where you from, bro. You gotta rip where you from. Yeah. But it's still Atlanta. Everything, you know what I mean? Right. That's what. How far is it? Is it outskirts or yeah, is it's it? It's like it's like probably like thirty five minutes. You know what I mean? South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you like, but you always in Atlanta anyway. Yeah, I mean it's, it ain't it ain't three hours away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Marietta, it's right there too, ain't it? Yeah, it's a lot of places in Atlanta that there's, if you drive north. 30, 40 minutes, it's an outskirt. You drive west, 30, 40 minutes, it's an outskirt. outskirt. But you know, that's, that's what makes up Atlanta. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? It's the outskirts. And Georgia has yeah. so much to offer. I didn't realize yeah. till, what I hate, because we visit there frequently, but, but I come back home and be on my Instagram and stuff, and I, and I see people taking pictures by this place, like it has a waterfall and stuff like that. And I'm like, nah, that's not Atlanta. What, Cent Centennial Park? Somewhere, yeah, Park. somewhere out there. And I'm like, that's yeah, pretty. I'm like, I never seen that in Atlanta before. Yeah, that's Atlanta. It's like downtown, like midtown Atlanta. Like, it's, but it'd be Atlanta, like Atlanta. like a waterfall. Yeah. And you can take pictures and stuff. I'm yeah. like, dang, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. But Atlanta it, is a beautiful city though, for real, for real. Yeah. Low key. But so you raised with your mom, dad, or just your mom? Uh, I was raised with a mom and a stepdad. And a stepdad. Yeah. Me too. My, my, yeah, my pops, he, he was, you know, he's one of the people that they couldn't knock the drugs and shit, so. Mm. You know, I come from that kind of background. Yeah. But was same, he a functional shit. drug addict or was he not? He was functional. He was functional. So you was know? he still in your life? Because, you know, I had somebody recently who, because I always felt like if you're on drugs, you just not, you know, some people be strung out and whatever. Uh -huh. But some people come on and be like, no, my mom or my dad was a functional drug addict where you wouldn't really know unless you know. Yeah, he had his, he had his purse, he, you know. You know, some sometimes they try to do the right thing, but you know, this that shit hard to knock. You know, real you know, hard, when you come from this shit, that shit what? hard to knock. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Man. Especially back then, you know. It's I, everywhere. But I was, I was, back I had it days. everywhere. Yeah. Nigga, you know? yeah. <laughs> I was, I was. It was, it was worse. Yeah, yeah. that shit when, real. When it first happened, like it wasn't out, and, and you know, niggas, I, you know, I ain't gonna tell what happened when I first got some. Uh, I stole it from my uncle. Mm -hmm. So when I start, you know, passing it out, yeah. you know, my, <laughs> you know, I got come up, you know what I'm saying? And when mm -hmm. I came up, you know what I'm saying? I really came up like yeah. I really was like the man. I didn't realize what was going on in my mind. I lost kind of thought of who I used to be. I became the man. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And, and right. people were listening to me. And then I start, you know, I really w I start buying stuff with it that I didn't know you should even be doing. You know, the girls was kind of, they like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's you know be real. When you young, you know when going. you young, you don't know. So you trying yeah. to figure this out. Like, oh, they this crazy on me? Yeah. And then you, you know. I had a whooping nigga behind me. One thing too, I know though. is all young men do it because yeah. of the woman. It was amazing. They yeah. do it because it they want a woman attention. The woman? No, it wasn't just. No, nah, it wasn't just about the. It was about the, the power, money. nigga. Yeah, and, and the money. That and money. Motherfucker, and the money. Motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker wanted to feel like they was they was that nigga. I'm gonna tell you something. The money was so dope. You didn't you you didn't care about the money though as much as you cared about the the dope. Because you knew if you had the dope, you had the money coming. So yeah. if I ran out, I used to be like mad, dog. If yeah. I get. I can have the bread. I be upset, nigga. Like they, they, I gotta have it. You want some more? 
Yeah, so I can be able to do my thing, what yeah, I was right. trying to do. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Because that's what time it was. Like, nigga yeah, right. had to have that <laughs> oh, dumb boy in the money, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The money was coming. Yeah. Because the money can't, because you have to, cause you, you didn't have the frame of mind to invest the money in anything else no, but that. No, no. I had 10 cars. I didn't have no house, nothing. I lived with mama. Yeah. We just ride clean every day. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Them were the days, though. Yeah, it was so a different time. So sisters and brothers? Yeah, I got like... Three sisters and one brother. And where are you falling between that? I'm like the baby on my daddy's side, and, and it's just me and my little sister on my mama's side. Oh, okay. Yeah. So were you raised like a baby boy or no? Man, you know, I'm, baby boys, they say baby boys are spoiled. He I'll, always telling me that spoiled my baby boy, but I don't think spoil. so. I'll bad here. That nigga spoiled. <laughs> Why? I'll bad here. What's the worst thing you did when you was a kid? What's the worst thing I did? Yeah. Why you say that you was bad? Like, what's the worst thing? She, I give you, I give you a, an incident. Okay. I say probably in the tenth. I mean, in fifth grade, I was probably like ten years old. I stole the car and drove. I drove to school for a week. To elementary school for a whole week. And ten I only, years old. Yeah, I only got caught because I I busted the tire coming back home on that Friday. Whose car did you steal? My stepdad had a car. And he didn't know. No, nah, he was sleep. He was a truck driver. Oh, so he was out of town. No, nah, he was sleep. He just be knocked out. You know what I mean? The whole for day. ten days straight. No, not for ten days. Five days. For five days. Sorry, five. No, four, yeah, not about four. It, Cause he went to school. No, it was Monday through Friday. So four. Really? Yeah. But how he is that sleep. possible? He's not sleep the whole day. That's why I'm like. I'm how saying is that? when I get up in the morning, he sleep. And when you come he, back home, he, he still, still sleep. sleep. Oh. Yeah. And and I, he didn't realize. No, nah, and I, I was getting away with it. I got away with it for. Five days, I, I busted the tire coming back home on that Friday. That's crazy. Yeah. And I guess he didn't know how to change the tire. No, nah, they called the police right. <laughs> they called the police right and say um they say somebody busted the tire some shit, but you know I did. What? What did he say? They, when they he find out the next day. A, a neighbor down the street came down and and, and told tell him that you've been doing yeah, it. Yeah, I was doing. <laughs> what did he say? Man, they tried to kill me. They, <laughs> what, what, what you mean when they say they tried to kill me? What they talking about? Hell, yeah, no, no. they tried to kill me. He tried. He literally tried. I would have hid. I would have hid. He wouldn't have found me. No, nah, I don't know. I was just curious, man. I just, I just want to be doing shit. I just like drive. So, shit. did you know how to drive? Actually, know how to drive at that time? Yeah, my mama taught me how to drive. It was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> But she was just trying to look out for him the best she could, nigga. She, right. That's the way it be. Wow. Yeah, that was yeah you was bad. Let me ask yeah. you about this music, man. I'm going to yeah. jump right into it. I just want to ask about just how in the hell did you link up with P. Diddy? How the hell does that happen, bro? Uh, When Boys in Her Hood first came out, Kim is the one who took us to Diddy, um, the lady he was married to at the time. Okay. Yeah, so from the, from the beginning, he always just liked my... My when y'all first came out, was y'all it was, it was it was just you by yourself, or how did how did y'all? How even, did Kim find you? That's what I'm. That, that's no. Nah, her and Block was kind of cool, you know. Okay, what I mean? Block. And Block let her hear some music that we had. We had okay. recorded and shit. So she took it to Puff, and that was the first time she ever took Puff some some music. Yeah. At all. So when he heard it, and he and he knew that she thought that it was dope. He just flew us out there. He listened to it, and shit, that shit went from there. It was like that. How old were you? I was probably like. 19, 20, I was like just turning 20. How did you feel? I mean, I already had a deal. I, I already was signed to Warner's brother. Oh, you know, with, damn. With Jazzy Faye and Yeah, Chubby yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I used to used come to Dallas all, all the time. Dude. Yeah, I had Stay Fresh out here, all that old shit. Yeah. I was already. So I, he I, did that, he did that show enough and all that. He was doing that on your stuff. Yeah, Ladies I, and gentlemen, and I. I was already on Trey and Slim Thug. You was already on it. Oh, nah, them niggas, we was already doing songs and shit. So. We was hot back then, though. Yeah. That, it was a hot time yeah, for you. It, it was just about to, y'all was just about to be. That's hot. right, finna get yeah. real, How old were you when, you when you started in this business? I was 18, I was like just turning 19. Oh, so everything just started going back Quick. to back to back. Yeah, Quick. It, it just happened. Because at the time I came, the only, the only um, who was out then? It was like real music. Like yeah. real, real music out then, so you just couldn't just rap to be rapping. You yeah. had to have some talent, and you had to be mm-hmm. you had to be about what you yeah. you were talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just came at a time where niggas needed some new shit, like some a new young nigga. Like it was a time you know? when 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 it, this was a time when you had the Pharrell, you had uh, 
you had the you know them them brothers. What was them brothers up there? Pharrell and them two brothers. Gun, uh, uh, the Eclipse. Oh, Eclipse. Then, yeah, All that. Shit, this yeah, this yeah. this time. I'm just yeah, going yeah, back yeah, in my yeah, mind, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I know. Time, yeah. I'm an old, nigga. I think Man. right back to it. It was not only them. It was some more. It was even even Timberland was hot and popping back but then. I'm gonna be honest was, with you. Everybody was Miss, out there. Miss Elliot. All that. It was a whole hot Outcast time. Outcast and all these people Outcast, was out then, bro. Yeah. Like Dre was still doing it. It was. Shit was popping. It was popping. Yeah, young Bloods, Lil John, all this. It, them niggas was solid then. We was just about to take over. Like, that's when the South was finna, finna really just start to pop this shit off. Yeah, yeah. This is what niggas live off of, that era. The, you right. The, the rappers who rap today, who, who niggas say woo woo, all this old shit, it's from that era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, niggas still living off of that shit. Mm -hmm. That's how big it was. It, it was, was real. some big. real shit going on. And it was a different kind of time, you know what I mean? Niggas was really trying to keep it real. No, no, no. It was it was yeah. a real it was it was a real movement back then and, yeah. and I was just happy for the entrepreneurship. I'm a smart mm -hmm. nigga, so I'm for sure. happy niggas getting money, nigga. For sure. Niggas is getting money a, now. A whole, getting a whole <laughs> lot of money. A whole lot of money. They wasn't for getting real. that before. Not, and that's why like old that. rappers really got mad, the the the, uh, the the ones who didn't get to get it. Some right. of them old rappers fit they caught to it. The LLs and all that, they caught yeah. to it, but yeah. a lot of them couldn't figure it out. Yeah, man. And you seen that too. You got you. You still got to be a hustler, though, bro. Like you got to know how to get to the money. Mm -hmm. No matter what you doing, you got to know how to get to the money and yeah. keep the motherfucker out your pocket. Yeah. So, but the way how they doing it nowadays compared to the way how they did it, everything was more hands on back then. Now everything is more digital. Yeah, way more. That's, so, that's, is it easier now than it was back then, or is it harder? Of course, it's easy. It's, it's way more easier, but it's yeah. more it's more watered down though. So yeah. you made it easy, but you took away what. It was really meaning and what we really the standing grind. for. Yeah, you know what I mean? You got to get out here and earn shit, man. You just can't turn the phone on. But y'all niggas ain't. You know that's the, that's yeah. the one thing people be looking at us and be like, how y'all growing so fast and stuff like that? And I would always say, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would always I say. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I would always say because we out here giving out cars, we out here talking to people, we, we still on that grind like yeah. what it used to be, yeah. but we still capitalizing on the social media and trying to get Doing people both. online to, yeah. to do that. Yeah. So why not do both? A lot of these younger people are just straight internet. They right, don't right. know how don't to understand. talk mm -hmm. to people face to face. Right. Uh, we out there right. on the grind. See, but you, 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 you come from it. That's what I am. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? So that's <laughs> all, that's all you know, exactly. So but you know. When I see that era, you talking about the BMF movement and all that stuff was going mm -hmm. on. There's a lot yeah. of money being throwed around bro. Yeah, a lot of niggas talking that talk but walking that walk yeah niggas flying here niggas flying there y'all got billboards everywhere nigga y'all mm. was doing things i ain't i'm still trying to get a billboard up a boss talk right now mm. it was a lot of history man it was yeah. a lot of stuff going down yeah you know how was I mean? that the atlanta thing when when the bmf movement was going on shit it was like what you see, what you hear, you know what I mean? Like this yeah, shit. Yeah, bottom popping. Is it true? Shit, shit, all you hear like the bottom popping. Yeah. Uh, all these, yeah. Because I only see stuff on the on the movie. Yeah, the I don't know nothing different. else. It was different, bro. It's almost like if you didn't if you didn't come to the freak nick. If you ain't never been to a freak nick, then you'll never know what what it was like. What it was actually like. So it's it's hard trying to explain it for me because I was in the middle of this shit. Like, so it was like I can say a whole lot of shit, but I would rather just be like, hey man, it's what you. What you heard? Because yeah, when so I think about when I think about yeah. a movement like that, I think about when, especially when y'all out partying or going to clubs, if they walk in, everybody it's almost like you part in the Red Sea. Everybody just back off and they just walk through. Is that how it was? Yeah, I mean, and see, that, this is what when when I be talk, when people talk about BMF and all that, it's like it was it was like a it was a movement. It was right. like you know what I mean. It wasn't just a BMF. It was it was BMF was plugged with everybody, mm -hmm. so it was like one big hood. Like so, everybody liked them. It wasn't no hate. Man, it was love all day. They had man all kind of love. Misha's a real one. Mm -hmm. Home is a real one, mm -hmm. and they ain't gonna do no flat. Home is a real one. So motherfuckers fuck with him. He, he was a real one. Yeah, yeah. No, so I it get was, it. It was easy to. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And was, you know his yeah. son. Is his son just like him? I don't really know who I ain't, I ain't really young. I know he young. You know when you I just like just like nigga him, do he so. know yeah. somebody else like a kid? These niggas is crazy. They got guns and these tight jeans. They different, <laughs> man. Oh no, I can't say that about him. No, I ain't no, know, I'm I ain't not talking about him. Oh, I'm okay, just talking yeah. about young niggas in, oh, general. Okay. in general. You know what I'm saying? Like I know the young niggas now. Oh for sure, they out here doing some oh, stuff. Yeah, they wilding. <laughs> And I'm they seeing it, and they got cameras now, so you see everything they doing yeah. when they do it. They wild. And and that's the crazy part, though. Imagine having cameras back then, like they got now. It was it's we all broke the internet. <laughs> 
Well, of course you'd have broke the internet. Would have broke the internet. Niggas wouldn't even been able to look. That's why I be looking at shit that go on today, man. That's why I'm so I be trying to be cool and laid back. Cause it's like, man, this shit, man. I be like, man, the fuck, who the fuck? <laughs> what do everybody put, think they doing? Like, what is? But there's a lot of bad and good from that because yeah, you would have broke the internet, but a lot more people would have been in prison a lot earlier. No. <laughs> because a lot of people putting stuff on the internet that shouldn't be on the internet. That's why they're getting caught up. See, well, I don't think we would have ever did that much of the internet. Like, it wouldn't have been to the point where we filming our lives every day. Every like, day. Hell no. We didn't even like cameras and shit. You couldn't even really take pictures of niggas then. Yeah. Like, niggas yeah. didn't even like cameras. If, if niggas was taking a picture and nigga didn't know who the fuck you were like, what the fuck you taking pictures for, bro? Yeah, like niggas do this shit today for a living. Take pictures of you yeah, all day. They so taking yeah. pictures all yeah. day. That's how they get paid. Nah, we would have never been doing never that. Done it. But we could have used it to our, you know what I mean? It, it, it most, you actually could have slide. Could have, could have, it could have been a camouflage. Man, it shit could have got real. It, it would have been, still yeah. been major. Yeah, yeah. Because you know even I mean? in music now, who was it that came on here recently? Somebody else came on here and was saying, and it was back in the days. He had put some stuff in his song. And that still got him caught up in his music even today. You know what I mean? When he went to his case, his case wasn't like that far back. Who was it that we had on our, yeah, our show the other day? Know. But anyway, something um, he had said in his case, he had called up a couple people on his, we just did that, I think it was Blood Raw. Okay. He said he had um, named a couple people in a song that he did, but it was just. Yeah, they'll use it against you. And they used it against him on his Fed case, and that was like a while back, and yeah, he's I old see, school. I ain't, I ain't with that bullshit, because they, they do be doing it. They be doing me like that. I'm going through all kind of shit now, fucking yeah. these folk. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like one of them motherfuckers, like, you don't have to hang me, cracker, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want it. They don't like nigga. It, yeah, it, you ain't finna do what the fuck you want to do to me, bro. No, at all. You see what I'm saying? No. And these motherfucking folk be tripping. No, they will get you. But if you gotta be they careful. Gonna print, they gonna but, push that pressure. But they be doing the most. I don't know how it is in Atlanta or in Georgia, shit. but I've heard because Georgia's my my they say it's the worst one, bro. Man, they these them motherfuckers. Be, they got their own rules, their own law. Oh, and that whole thing right now, from what, you know, look, I'm on the outside looking in. They going to the internet. Nigga, the internet, they is not playing. Like, it's it's all kind of stuff being said about it, niggas coming up, going, you know, Rico stuff happening. All I'm saying is. Man, they liking I niggas up off the internet. I would be dealing right. with that. Yes, they liking niggas up off the internet now. I'm talking about for real. They trying to give you real time off the internet. internet. They doing shit to you. Because of what you doing on the internet, like. Wow. But why don't that people be weird. smarter about it? Why people keep putting stuff on the internet, knowing that they are watching it, they they can uh, use this against you. I don't know. It's not even like what you may say. What they say? What they say when you're you arrest you? Anything you, you say, say and will do. You know. Okay. Anything you you. Re now he know it. That nigga know it right now. That nigga, yeah, he got. I don't fold buns right now. Anything you say. Yeah. But. but <laughs> we need to put that on social media. Anything you film and say can be used against you. Can and you. will be. Can and will be used against you in a court of law. See, with sometimes, man, you, I just think they over, they overstepping their boundaries with that shit because you just can't be trying to tell a motherfucker what they can put. That's the, like a freedom of speech, speech, speech mm -hmm. and, and like you can't tell me what the fuck I can put on here and what I can no. say and then indict me on it. Mm -hmm. And let's these little dumb like you know these little dumb ass niggas be doing shit like yeah going to shoot. Niggas on the internet. On the internet with yeah, the gun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use I've that. I've seen it. Yeah. Like. I've seen it. I mean, we we just had a case here where something happened in Big T Bazaar, and it was bodies laying everywhere. They sent a picture. It was in real time. Yeah. Nigga. Man, these niggas be on probation, man, and and, and taking pictures of guns. Guns and weed and everything That's else. Crazy. I see that. I've seen that. That's hey, crazy. And a nigga, when he, what, shit, before all this, this internet stuff happening, if you was on probation or parole or anything, you wouldn't even get around that and then nobody see you. Now these niggas done got real buck with it, huh? They don't give a fuck who see them. They don't care. Mm. That's crazy, man. Um, you know, when I when I look at look back at you, you you sung that hook, man. Boy, them boys in the hood. You the hood. You how you come up with that? Man, was, you know what I mean? You know how shit was. the same way we were talking about how how the time was, like we yeah. were just able to vibe, bro. Niggas was really doing this shit. Like niggas was really not just rapping. So it was, it's a different yeah. vibe when you coming from a, when you coming from the hood, coming from the trap, doing this shit, and then coming to a studio and talking about it. So it was like a whole nother vibe, and everybody getting money. 
And this was the early on too, cause Jesus yeah. them they had just they hadn't it was just getting started. Everybody was just getting started. And shit just popped off. But you sung that how, did you write that? You wrote it, you write all your stuff? Nah, I was you didn't write that? Write, nah. I I I think I I think the, I think them niggas wanted to fuck with me because I didn't write. I no, you just chin. you say you just say it. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. That, so yeah. that's how you just came up with that. Yeah. Are yeah. you one that's time, crazy. one time, like one time hit and you did it, or you had to go over and over and over before you got it? No, Them boys got all that. You just yeah, coming just up with that in your mind. Yeah, I mean, that shit. That shit easy. <laughs> that shit easy. That's, you know, you yeah. hear rappers say that nigga like me. I don't know. I don't rap like that. But so you gotta hear the beat. You gotta hear the yeah, beat. I'm just I'm just vibe to the beat. And then go and then in. I go in and do what I do. Yeah. That so, was a big part of, of my whole makeup. That's why they signed me too. For, because at that time, niggas, niggas now, they be saying they don't write. They, probably, they do. But, but at that time, everybody was writing. And when I came, I literally was the only nigga that wasn't writing though. Like Lil Wayne was writing. Mm. Jay-Z was yeah, writing. Yeah. Everybody was writing. Jay-Z so, too? Everybody was right. Damn. At that time, at that time yeah. all, them all of them. Because when you just starting yeah. out, because I'm sure that they're so experienced in it that they don't really have to write no, no more. Yeah. They just jump yeah. in and do their thing. But that's, nah, that's what made, But when you started, you yeah, started you like started. that. Yeah, that's what made them like this little motherfucker coming in here. Natural. They, yeah, they telling me they like you ain't. Well, you, you need a paint. You need. No, I'm like, nah. Give me the beat. That's what made. Where you get that like from? That. Like your music abilities, like did it come oh, down no, to your mama, daddy, natural. somebody? It's just a gift, you know what I mean. I, I had some people um in my family that had that gift too. My, my stepdad, he was, he had a gift. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he was more he was a preacher, so he was more of a the, the church the gospel, gospel. Shit, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, mean? yeah. But he yeah. still knew how to control her. They loved him though. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I I saw a lot he from that too, but at the same time. I got my own little sauce, man. Like God, God bless me. He too. blessed that boy, That's man. Right. But <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. Hey, so man, when you when you think about the music and the history of the music, just mm -hmm. the stuff that you done accomplished mm -hmm. uh, during that time when 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 niggas was really about what they say, mm -hmm. how what percentage of rap do you think in today's time is really spoken word like the truth? A, a, a bull crap, you know, a, a, a mess. Is it what percentage would you say? Is it 80, 20? Is it. Oh, uh, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? It, so if it, all the, it, out of all the people who rapping, is they really doing what they saying? That's they right, that's like right. 2%. <laughs> so it's 98% false. 99%. You can't say that because you're not in these people's daily lives, so you really don't know if they're doing what they're doing. I'm not saying all of them, uh, some of them Here are faking, go. but you can't say, none of us can really say unless you're standing right by that person 24 7. Listen, listen, honey. <laughs> <laughs> listen, majority of these rap, these new, these, this, this new shit, oh, hell no. Nah. How you gonna be doing that? All the ones who are doing it, where they at? Yeah, you, they don't do it long. Cause these they a lot of cameras jail. out they there. In jail. I just think it's it, it's so ain't nobody doing anything. They they, they it, it's cap showing a whole just they they doing too much. Showing a whole bunch on. of money. They make names with the money now. Yeah, man, you ain't you ain't doing if when you doing something for real, you don't want nobody to know. Trish. But this is a new generation. This generation, they do stuff and they want everybody to know it. I yeah, think the this, older this. generation is the ones who move like this. New generation, they'll do stuff and they want you to know that they did it. Even if they, you see people be shooting and killing people and they still try to put it on social media. Man, it's it's on so, a few. It's on a few of these little new cats who come from that. But you will see it. You will know it. You can tell. Yeah, it's easy to know who, when a little nigga ain't bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But it's also easy to tell when why you bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like chill ass on. Yeah, it sound good. See, I'm I'm just not one of the one who I don't like doing little niggas like that. I don't like telling them, telling the nigga, yeah, do that, be like that. Yeah, when I know you lame, no, yeah, I, yeah. I want you to be lame. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. be who you are. Nigga. Yeah, man, right. be lame, man. <laughs> so, do, do you see anybody out here? And I hate to even ask you this: anybody music out here that you liking? Yeah, I fuck with a couple of them. I fuck Ooh, with like Kodak. Who? Kodak be snapping. I you fuck like with Kodak? Lil Baby, goddamn. You know, yeah, some of that shit. Lil Baby? Cut on the ball, be for real. Who that nigga that I like you told me about? Bit. I'm just a new guy that he did, did that. The Team one Mo? the Reds told me about. Oh, um, Huncho. Huncho. You know him? 
Uh, I don't know. See, I don't. He got know, out of Atlanta too. I don't know a lot of these little niggas. Well, the new I, one. I fuck with a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, cause he I new. Fuck new. With Polo G. Okay, name. okay. Yeah. He hard. Uh, it's, see, it's good. See, you see some good, some yeah, all right ones in there. Yeah, it's a couple of young niggas. So you look at them. Hard. So does it matter if? So you you like them because they're real. Like if yeah, they're rapping, I gotta, I gotta like feel. You. I gotta feel like yeah, your lad bad here. Like you, yeah, you, you come from. So if they're rapping and their rap is good, but you know that they fake, you don't like it. Yeah, if you lame as hell and but you over here rapping, but, but, but the song good. Shit, but the song good. I don't care. Okay. That's why I like Hot Boy West. Shout out. I don't care because he, okay. he definitely he he, he really. A that's good what dude. that's what watered the game now. All that shit. Okay. Like, because some people look at it just entertainment. Yeah, don't whether stop, it's true or not. Stop entertaining people. People don't want to stop yeah. fucking entertaining people. <laughs> okay. They were wrong with the world. Too much goddamn entertainment. Entertain. Stop entertaining every goddamn. Body. Because some of these young kids are looking at it like it's real and they're following it because they think it's real and they're not looking at it as entertainment. They're not looking at it like it's they're watching a movie. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's just come from a lot of shit, man. You just gotta have some people around who gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. so, a lot I wanna, of you motherfuckers ain't got nobody to tell them that. I want to hear about that. Uh, I'm going to go back to that Diddy thing a little bit more. Just uh, the uh, the bad boy South. Did yeah. that really, is that something that, he, I know he started with like dealing with y'all. And it, was it a, really a movement or did that ever take? Yeah. It, um, he you came see what up, I'm saying? He came up with bad boy South from us. Okay. Like, that's when it started. So he went and signed Ball and G. And all okay. That, yeah, okay. So that, that, damn show did. Yeah, that was a little bad boy South thing. But we was running shit, bro. We, we, we literally ran shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, it, was, it was major. And and is it true what I, I and I, I I think I heard you say this about uh, writing for uh, P Diddy. You you wrote what did you Man, write? I wrote like eight songs. Um, what was what that, songs was it? On his press play, uh, he did a press play album. Um, I was with him for like six seven months, just right. writing and getting game. You know what I mean? Just how was he that? He taught me. He taught me a lot. You know what I mean? I can't say nothing bad about him because. But them boys yeah, were little, yeah, his kids out. and stuff. He had them kids then too. Then yeah, yeah, my little partners. Yeah, look home, that little nigga fly. Yeah, that's my all them damn waves in his head. Yeah, man, that's, that's my little partner. Man, it, it, it was it was just different back then, man. Shit was just real, bro. Like if you had a vibe, you and you and you you, you gen, genuinely fuck with somebody. Yeah. Then it wasn't about nothing. Yeah. You just did what, what you know what I mean? They called me like, hey, bro, I fuck with your swag. Yeah, I, yeah. I came and chill with him. We, not some songs I did a couple of things. I mean, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I look back at you messing around. Shit was just, crazy. I was like, this nigga here, hell. You you started that song, them boy, but then you, you you came after Jeezy when he did the first verse and handled your business. Nigga, I was like, this nigga was howling them niggas. You wasn't playing with that nigga, man. Nah, it was. <laughs> it was a it, hard song. It's just a hard song that you yeah. couldn't forget, and it made a nigga feel like going to get some money. Exactly. <laughs> we was outside. So yeah, I actually won an award for that um song with him and that what that girl name, the little pussycat dog girl. Um oh I'm seeing her face but I can't remember her name. She's pretty um, as fuck too. The dark skin one? No, the little pretty one with the curly hair. Damn. Um, they had a little song, I think I forgot what And you and you he got a war with that hoe. Damn. Yeah, That's what I'm saying, like it. My award. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you feel about like the awards now? Do you feel like the shows, man? Like it's a lot of different, lot different than when y'all first came in the game. No, yeah, I mean I don't really be following all that shit too much. Do you go to the award shows anymore? Hell no, nah. I ain't been to a award show in probably like probably about seven, eight years or something. I don't want to even deal with it no more. Nah, I don't be want to see them folk, bro. You know, I see them, I see people, but I don't be want to see nobody, man. But you see them though, you. Man, you Jody Breeze, nigga. I ain't with all that lame shit. But they like, still, they see you. They like that's 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 Jody. That's cool, but I just I don't know how I'm, I'm I don't know how to fake kick it. You don't you, was any of them niggas genuine? Because I heard you Someone. say that before. It seemed like they 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 rubbed you the wrong way with that fakeness, bro. I, I already don't like people, so it ain't even them. <laughs> it ain't, ain't hard, right? yeah. <laughs> That's really crazy, but it's real. Yeah. You was artistic, but you just put in the situation. Yeah, I would right? put I would put in the situation to like people. Because of your talent. Yeah. Your talent like took you folk. a place you like, I don't really ride with these niggas. Yeah, like I don't that. like folk. But you know, I'm I, at the same time if you if you good people, yeah. if you genuine, then I'm gonna fuck with you. No, that's what it takes. Real recognize real then. Yeah, that's all it is. Man. 
I, I listen to some, how about like your new stuff though the new music that you doing yeah, I got stupid how, shit. what make you like I think it was Ghana you got a song called Ghana mm -hmm. that bitch uh, don't well, well, yeah that whole go real hard you that said a few hard. things on that thing nigga you yeah. was talking about dude. was that real nigga yeah. cause I listen to that whole you was from Chicago to Ohio or something <laughs> yeah. in that whole, I'm being real nigga listen. you really was doing this listen. is that a real song once upon a time yeah. <laughs> I like okay, how he said. Like Once how upon say. a time, man. But you damn sure you was you rapping good. on that thing. Yeah, I See, like but that I got, song. I got a loyal fan base, bro. The people who fuck with me, they fuck with me, mm -hmm. and and niggas be be they be tripping because they don't really understand how how broad my fan base is. Like motherfuckers fuck with me everywhere, just because I don't been there. Well, I don't. I been did all this shit. I don't kicked it. How you supposed to kick it? Now when in the world when everybody's got them trying to figure out who the fuck they is and make up a a person, we don't. I'm not that kind. Of, I I don't kick it. I don't give them the whole world do that. I don't kick it like that, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like something wrong with y'all. No, no, no. I get it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But no, I, I, I but I gotta fit in with that. No, nah, nigga, I ain't fitting in with none of that. Nigga. None of that. So it's gonna be it's gonna it's be like weird. It's like this, it's like this. This it's, how it's gonna be. Yeah, it's weird because yeah. you're not finna just comply. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't going for nothing. Let me ask and look, people gonna fuck with you still. They, they fuck with you with more, you. bro. Let me ask this you something. Get the real love. That's was, true. Was you down? Was Diddy in in Florida at this time, or was the nigga in in New York? He was in when when y'all did when you were doing the music. Who was in Miami? Okay, and New I York. figured so. Who, you, who was both? How was you? How did you like? Cause that was, was that your first time hanging out in New York? I've been in New York several times, but it was just it adjusting was tough for me. My granddad from New York. So you it like it? Hard. You like? Would you you could live up there and stuff versus fuck Adam? no? That's what I said. <laughs> Why? No. I'm trying to Why? figure out how a nigga like it. My fuck cousin no. moved Why? up there. Listen, man, I used to go out there in the summertime. My granddad and shit, I used to play on Rucker Park and play basketball out like there in them same little shit. Mm -hmm. Man, these people sleep with their windows up and shit, man, at night. They talk out the windows and shit while you trying to sleep. Damn. Like, if you in the bed and your window, or if people outside right here shooting crap and shit, you can hear everybody, see everything and shit. Like, hell no. Nah. You know what's going on in the hood at all times. House. I need to be inside a house. <laughs> like, I need to be in a room, quiet. I can go to sleep. You can close your window. Hell no, nah, that shit crazy. <laughs> like, they really live. That shit fat. Them motherfuckers be out there. That shit yeah. is fast as hell. Yeah, you got to walk every motherfucking world. It is. And I wouldn't move up there. I was up there. At least there. You, you stay healthy if you have to walk everywhere. You won't be big. Man, who's going to walk everywhere, though? They Nigga. walk everywhere. I hated New York because she made me hate New York. The many times I used to go by myself I like at walking. first, but when I went with her, she's power walking out there, nigga. I'm not yeah. doing all I that. I love it. I love like, it. I'm trying to get to the first pizza joint, nigga. I ain't trying to do all that. I don't care nothing about that. Yeah, that's a lot of walking. <laughs> Them niggas yeah. love it, though, up there. They, but I, they live it, bro. Yeah, they'll I'm like, walk what anywhere. The, the only thing I don't like about New York is the cold. That's cold, it. That's that's cold I hate too. the cold. Yeah. I we, used to think they were really mean, like mean, mean, but could they is though? Like, them motherfuckers yeah. rude as fuck. Yeah, One they are. Failed, rude and she tried to help her up, and and she come up and never said she thank tripped, you enough. Yeah. That she helped her up that hoe with like a zombie. She was said, "Damn, this is crazy, man." You should have cooked back up. <laughs> Push the back down. Yeah. Push it on yeah, back down. Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna always go back to the. Uh, I want to go back to that the uptown song that you dissed Jeezy on. What was that? Uh -huh. it, it, most time when niggas get together when they're young, we've seen it a million times on this show where things don't work out. Mm -hmm. But what made what made you go that route? And then I seen, I think I seen Walker Flock in that video too. Yeah. But what made you? It was a lot of niggas in that in that motherfucker. Shit had happened, you know what I mean? What what? Like shit shit had happened. Shit had happened, man. <laughs> That's what you want to put. It. Feel, yeah, shit had happened, and, man. Niggas know I ain't going for that, man. I don't like. I ain't going for nothing over at no time of the day. But do it man. to put it on a song though, basically. Yeah, I meant what I said. You just like I'm gonna go and put I it out here, and I meant what the fuck I had said. You feel what I'm saying? And this, this what I was on. Cause I ain't really with all that extra shit. I ain't with all the explaining myself and all that mm -hmm. old shit. Niggas be knowing what the fuck be going on. Yeah, yeah. And just because I act like that and mm -hmm. I be like that, that's why them niggas be nigga. I ain't with all that rap shit, nigga. And I'm dope. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. Be, I'm a rapper and woo, but nigga, I'm not with none of that rap shit y'all talking about. So, and I always been like that. That's so real. That's the that's why they it's a love hate shit. These niggas know what's up with me, man. These niggas know this, but they know I'm the one with this. With <laughs> they me. know. Yeah. Well, I looked at the track record so, and I, I see man, it. Man, listen, yeah. I done drip sauce on all these niggas. Yeah, man. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of this shit come from me, man. The fuck y'all be thinking going on? But I'm so cool about it. It's like okay, cool, okay. Go and do your thing. Yeah, I can, I, I can see what's going on. 
Yeah, that would make me cool. But at the end of the day, for you to do that song, and then you basically just say, you know what, I'm gonna put it out there. You wasn't. It wasn't no turning back. At that point, you. I said what I said. It is what it is. So I man, get it. Yeah, yeah you man. weren't cool at that point. You were ready to talk. <laughs> Uh, no, she had heaven shit. Listen, at that time, bro, I ain't even. I don't even do that. Yeah. So for me to do that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she, that's it. She had heaven. See, but people, this internet shit, like motherfuckers be trying to figure shit out, and mm -hmm. they want they want you to help them figure it out. Yeah, I don't yeah. figure it out. You believe what you want to believe. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I like facts. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I be standing on. I be standing on like niggas be playing games out here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And you don't supposed to explain everything. But when you, know you did at that time though, did you move? You moved like you always moved because you was already Dolo. street. When when the whole bunch of niggas with you and none of that. Man, Dolo. Cause I see them niggas with a thousand niggas with them when you see them. I done been in a place where these niggas be. I know them niggas gotta be scared of something. It's a hundred niggas with them. Man, what? <laughs> you, you done seen it, nigga. Done, you done been on it. You done seen it. But listen, bro, I, they, they, they was like family to me too. Like some of this shit, like niggas is family. Meet them, that's family. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So mm -hmm. it be, in this rap shit, niggas be taking beef the wrong way sometimes. Okay, okay. Because beef sometimes is misunderstandings. Just yeah. a little misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, but when everybody get to putting their little two cents and exactly. shit, niggas start feeling like they need to, def they ego, need to feel ego, like. Ego starts dropping yeah. up. So if you going to do that, then you really got to be about that shit and be willing to, to to take on whatever come with it. Like, mm -hmm. niggas, they try to jump me. Some niggas try to jump. Niggas don't try to do something to me. You know what I mean? Because, I'm, nigga, I'm going to do something. I'll do something to you. You're going to have to do something to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you have to walk around. Yeah, I'm going to do something. I'm yeah. Like, I come yeah. from debt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't switch up and play like, I can't switch up and be another kind of way. How you go from being like that and then just turn into just not being like mm -hmm. that? Nah, I'm like that forever. Mm, mm. That's why you shouldn't put your business out there. You should just handle it behind closed door, you know, with partners over the phone or in face to face. And you just got to handle your, your business. Right, don't put your business out there. You just got to handle your business at all times. So I want to know, what is your wife for doing this music? Like, why, why get into the music? And then after doing it so long, because I know a lot of people after doing it so long, they see a lot of fakeness in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, man, I don't want to do this no more. I can't deal with this because it's not real. Why keep doing this? Because your fan, you can't, you can't. See, I got, a, I, got a, I got a crazy fan base. So just when I don't be doing shit, they be, I can't go nowhere without nobody saying, hey, bro, man, when the fuck is you finna? You know what I mean? So I always try to put out one CD a year to like, Give motherfuckers what they want, but bro, I gotta feel like doing this shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't rap all year long. Yeah, you see, well, I don't rap all the time. That shit, that shit is just done got lame. It's too many rappers. Mm -hmm. It's almost embarrassing now. Mm. Like y'all are embarrassing a nigga. Like, do you think it's gonna change? Trying? No, it's gonna get worse. worse. Every, listen, bro, there's gonna be more rappers and more rappers and more rappers to come. It's a bunch of them. At our age, they 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 seven years old rapping now. Whole videos and shit with chains on and all that old shit. Yeah, it's the whole world finna be rappers. Rap ain't going nowhere. nowhere. What made you do that song? Who was you talking to on that song, Fraud, man? Nobody. You just made, it was hard. Yeah. I don't, I don't be talking to nobody. I just be But that whole went in. Talking. And it, I was like, damn, I wonder who the hell he talking about. He's going <laughs> in on the, mm. that fraud situation, you know, because it is. But it meant, made sense, though. Yeah, it's a lot I of think fraud. that's a, a lot of time. If you if you do something like that, you got to be inspired from somewhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a lot of fraud shit going on. Yeah. So when you think about just the, uh, the do you even listen to music in the, like in the, in the Texas scene now? Because you you in Atlanta, but you know what's going on. You, mm. you know, if somebody popping, you am like that nigga hard. You yeah. know anything anywhere else outside of Atlanta? In, in, in Texas, Texas, uh, Louisiana, right? Uh, uh, I just be listening to y'all ear because I'm gonna go look for the nigga if you if he, if I'm see like, I, I don't be knowing these niggas name I don't be knowing these niggas I might hear a song and be like that's be called hard. yeah 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 but I don't be knowing them though yeah. I ain't been studying them like that you don't study you know, them. but it's it's a couple of niggas that I like but I just don't 
You know, they yeah. don't be they don't be moving me like that no more. Yeah, no, I get it. They man. just want to kill shit. These motherfuckers want to kill somebody. Man, I went down there. I'm gonna be, right. be real with you. For some reason, in my mind, when I was in Atlanta last time, I didn't know that there was open carry down there. I'm, in my mind, I ain't thinking they can do that. Yeah, they can. Every nigga in the world got a gun in there. I'm like every nigga down here packing. on their hip, I'm on their waiting. hip, walking around that hole. They gonna blast some. And then how, how they try to do a nigga with a feeling? They, they, they don't want you to have. get it. How yeah. the fuck I can't carry you a gun? Got to have one. <laughs> Too crazy, nigga. A lot of them niggas that might be still got an issue, which is the ones that's out here carrying them now. But mm -hmm. what kind of setup is that? Hell no. That's a that's a, that's nigga a dangerous ain't do that setup, though. bro. You can't do that. You know what I mean? So niggas niggas got niggas can't get caught with a gun. No, they they Grown know that man can't get caught with a gun. Why? And, and you can't be around nobody who have one. Exactly. But at the end of the day, you don't want to die. I ain't going to, you going to have to keep <laughs> shit. Fuck That's the crazy talking. part because it's definitely going down, man. Is the, let me ask you something. Is that strip club scene still like it was? Like when I come to Atlanta back in the day, I was at Stroke with the, to the light. They had the lights on in that hole. I'll never forget it. It might it might be a couple short clubs still popping out. I don't go to short clubs. I know, but back I don't either. It's been probably about what four five years, mm. yeah. maybe four five years. More long than because pandemic. Long than that. Yeah, pandemic. so yeah. yeah. But I still, there, when I went, I was down there. I said, them niggas down there doing a real strip club uh, scene for real. Yeah, that's cool. But them hoes, see, it's so many these bitches, man. These hoes don't put their stomach in their back, man. That shit be getting <laughs> it's crazy. That shit ain't be getting it? On my nerve, what they calling the B? What is it? I don't know B what the fuck it is, but it get on my fucking nerve. Something like that. I don't know. Y'all get up tonight. What is the B? B M, the BWM, the BBM. Oh, huh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you feel about okay being a man and um when you see when I be seeing on social media how females be transforming? I mean, when I mean transforming, I mean with the full blown makeup. They look like this, and then all of a sudden they have all this makeup on, and they look like drop that gorgeous. I mean, oh. they going surgery and doing all the. I don't like that shit. I'm telling you, I don't like that shit. So you As won't talk to a girl that do all that. I can't. Sometimes you don't even know until <laughs> until she pull her shirt or, or she got them two dots on her head. You feel? Me? Like it, it sometimes you see <laughs> them scars. Yeah, you go. You gonna know what's going on. So once you see that, you're not gonna call her a second time. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't turn on them, man. <laughs> you can't. You can't turn on them. <laughs> hey, you tripping, bro? It's too deep, man. You can't, you, you can't turn on them, but at the same time, it's like, why? You probably didn't even have to do that. You see what I'm saying? You scarring up your body, baby. You didn't even have to do that. And some of them are so addictive to it. Because yeah, once you start that, they know that no y'all men love it. Because y'all want, want the, the big booty. Not, the not, not me. Y'all love I that sort of stuff. I would never let her do nothing like that. Don't not take nothing away from what God made you. <laughs> I don't want you. nothing else. Sometimes it's supposed to look how it's supposed to look. Look. Nobody don't want all that. You know what I mean? I'm telling bitches, they don't be understanding. They just think they... These hoes get $10,000, they want to go to Mr. Fix. They better try to do so. I think, I think, and this is just hypothetically speaking, I think that a lot of women, when they started doing it, they started doing it because their they boyfriends are not only insecure. Oh, they don't got nothing to do with their damn boyfriend. Y'all talking about, that. no, no, listen, because y'all men, I'm not saying, you know, present company on the damn excluded, man, I swear. maybe, but. Maybe? <laughs> The hell you mean? Yeah. But but I'm talking about we'll go to the strip clubs and most of these girls at the strip clubs have these things. So some of these women that, you know, we was left at home probably feeling like, you know, they need to go get it so y'all men don't have to go to the strip club. Here here I am. No, they insecure. For one, some of these bitches don't even have to be like that because they are beautiful. That's right. They already be beautiful. That's how you know you fucked up. When you beautiful and you still don't think you fucking beautiful. <laughs> Bitch, you fuck something wrong with you, though. <laughs> That is so true. And they you're gonna do it go, all the time. And you're gonna go cut yourself. Bitch, you stupid bitch. But you don't know, <laughs> but at the same time, you don't know what they've been going through. It could have been their mama, daddy, somebody when they were younger been telling yeah, them, you that's ugly, true. you this, you that's that. True. And I don't know they're beautiful. That's, that's true. That's trauma. But bitch, you ought to have some kind of sense in your head to know when you're that when you're that beautiful. Some I ain't saying beautiful when somebody hoes be ugly and they might need it. Mm. Like someone might need it. Them hoes right. be ugly or, or not all the way right. You know what I mean? But some of these hoes be really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that to yourself? To fit in with these stupid ass hoes. Now you <laughs> just true. put yourself in that, that category. category. Yeah, bitch, Quickly. I don't want you not that, bitch. Then they gonna act like they that. Like, mm -hmm. you can, how you gonna act like that? You that to me. 
No, bitch, I figured it out. I already know what's going on. I don't like that. No. Because I heard stories. I've heard, I remember, I don't remember who told me this story, but um, a man living with a woman, and he said, I've never even seen her natural hair before. Ever. She won't even let him see her natural hair. Like, some women are so insecure. You can't trust her. You can't trust no Some women are so insecure. Never trust the bitch. Who won't show you what her hair look like? Or, or who she really is? Or who she is? Let me she be hiding, hair. like yeah. bitch. I don't care your ponytail, DB. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, look. I mean. Uh, I don't give a fuck if it's that big. I want to see it. Yeah, and bitch. I want you to be real with it. Yeah, bitch. And if, if I got a <laughs> Come problem, on with it. Hey, if I got a problem with it, I'm going to just tell you I got a problem with it. <laughs> <Come on, laughs> <see it. laughs> Yeah, I'm still. Hey man, let hey. me. I gotta. Get I'm gonna just tell you, I got a problem with that little ponytail. No, but I, I get but it. I, but and I respect. And she'll go add the extension, and you yeah, be good. Yeah, then go put yeah. the shit on. Yeah, yeah I respect. I, but at least you did. You yeah, came bitch, real. You know what you got. Yeah. yeah. At least you know what you got. Yeah, bitch. I know I got a little little bit of ponytail there. <laughs> 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 you know, man, you let me know ask you. That shit ain't cool. <laughs> let me ask you about. Uh, man, you done tripped me out, man. <laughs> if you had to do all over again, man, let's be real. Yeah. Um, you was cold in basketball. Do you think mm-hmm. that? What you ever think about that? Yeah, I mean, shit. It, it was think about like, damn, I could have. I could have been to the this NFL. a whole nother level. Yeah, I know I could. NBA. Have. So yeah, that's have. what I'm saying. Do you ever think about that? Not really, cause I don't. I don't regret it. I I, I love my life. I had a hell of a run. Life. Yeah, I had a good life. So, but you know I'm damn well down. if you'd have went to the league or something, you'd have been different. You'd have been you'd have been more clean cut. You wouldn't have been as raw. No, you'd have been with the white if, boys, man. I just want, I don't know if I ever could have like that's why I started doing what I'm doing because I don't know if I ever could have just made it like that because I, my attitude was just you gonna be one of the ones got yeah, in there like you gonna be like what's that nigga name? Yeah, they, 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 you, they like you know, nigga with the attitude in the NBA the one had the worst attitude out of all of them. Yeah, he's like bro, I don't like nobody <laughs> trying to tell me what to do, bro. Do you still watch it? You still watch the game? You be watching the ball game? Hell yeah. Who you who you think who you think doing their thing? Golden right? State, nigga. I like Golden State. I always like Golden State. I'm a Durant fan though. Okay. But, okay. I'm fucking with Golden I State because I knew the Lord King Paul. there and Draymond Moore lame here for doing that shit. Yeah. I just want to say that too. So you want that to be known? Yeah, because I fucked them, boy. I fucked all them niggas. Yeah. Well, yeah. he need to come the fuck now. Yeah, yeah. That nigga seen him brutal. You're not- you feel? God damn, Draymond. <laughs> so, so. Then Lil Pooh hard too. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. He, but he handled him like made it. And don't you yeah. hate when something like that happened? Like a nigga, you looking at like, damn, he had to do it. You know, you, you can't go back out the nigga do pull something like Hell that. Yeah, nah, he know that. He know that it yeah. like nigga might, might nigga might want to come back and, and and see you for something, and that's what I be tripping off for people do anything and they don't think for they do a lot of time. You better be ready for what you come at a nigga with. Yeah, yeah, that shit just fucked up. You know what I mean, it's when you up. so is Atlanta still you know at, they was when y'all had it, y'all you right, y'all killed the game, and right now the game is still going down. But we got the internet involved. Do you think that Atlanta is like? Still, like one of the spots where that music is coming out of, yeah, yeah, you know you what know I'm saying. You so, know so let me let me ask you this: like when you look down there now, I remember them niggas, man. It was a bunch of different niggas, man. From it was the OJ, the Juice, man, the the G, you, all you niggas, man. Is this still like when you hit the block? Is it? It like that, like the, the when you go out, everybody moved out of move. That's the new Tyler Perry got it to where everybody, uh, the movie stars and everybody think they can go down there and hang out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, how yeah, different yeah. is it, and, and and how much effect did you have on it? Because you you one of them boys started off when it wasn't just there yet. Yeah, I mean it, you can tell you can see the growth. You can see you can see the impact. Yeah, you feel me? You can you can see the impact. It's easy to see. It. You see niggas yeah. everywhere every day. Niggas yeah. that might be anybody. Yeah, the it's, new Hollywood. It's, yeah, it's, 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 like, black a, it's Hollywood. like a down south the, Hollywood type shit. That's what they call the black Hollywood. Yeah. You got your restaurant down there. I know you had them three detail shops you yeah, talked I still about. Got a couple on, bro, and I, and I and I like to hire motherfuckers that like they got these little young little boys who be in school, but they bad as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know you got you got you got bad kids, then you got the ones that's already gone. I, I make thought about the water boys when you said that. I'm not playing. I don't know if they were bad, but they be out there outside with these bottles. Some on me, you know what I mean. Some, some on just trying to do something. Then <laughs> some on with the shit. You know that. You know the one with the shit. Yeah, they the yeah. one with the pants all the way down. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and got down. Like, and when when they, they go they in the car, up. they all they all way yeah, in they, that hole. They looking at you. They they trying to see what you got going on. <laughs> you know what I mean. Them the one. But uh, <laughs> I like I like fucking with them little young niggas who 
who bad but ain't all the way gone yet. Yeah. Because all they be needing is a motherfucker to be like, man, yeah. come on, man. That's right. You feel me? And don't be doing that kind of shit. I like you know that, I mean? man. I, you know what I mean? I do like you do that be, for a lot of young kids? Yeah, I fuck with, I, I fuck with people the, the quiet way. Okay. You know how you, when you do shit and don't nobody supposed to know it? Mm-hmm. I get a kick out of that. I like mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? We need I, that. I do plenty of shit all the time. Motherfucker, I stay got to go do something. But mm-hmm. I don't care to tell it and say I did this and that. Because I done did a whole lot of shit, bro, that I can say. Mm-hmm, Even mm-hmm. for people in the industry and all that, I can, I can literally say, "Hey, I'm the one that, yeah, I took him and said, hey, come here.' Yeah. Did, did you ever you get started? I mean? Did you ever anybody ever start study you when you met him? Like, like, damn, I'm in here. You had already met P Diddy from the jump, so that's kind of hard to. I haven't met everybody from the jump. Not, but I, but, I, really, I met everybody. Like, who was the first person you really linked in with? If it wasn't P Diddy. No, I, I, used work, jazz I used to work. I used to work with Jazz. I know, but right. when he so you, you had Jazz, Jazz had all these other folks. Jazz knew every fucking body. Jazz was like one of the high, him, at the him time. and Lil John was the, was the hottest producers yeah. at that time. Mm-hmm. Did you do anything with uh, Jermaine Dupri, or you didn't do nothing with him? No, I don't think we. I, I met him a couple of times, but we never did nothing. I, we was with um, what's that nigga name? I used to work in Dallas Austin Studio. Okay, Dark. gotcha, gotcha. That's where I started it. So it was like me, Kerry Hilson. Uh, Lloyd, Sierra, you know what I mean? Um, Polo the Dunn. Yeah, yeah. Like, B. Cox, Sean Garrett. That's, All of them. That's, that's, that was my intermediate family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, that alone, man, it was so much fucking music and so many people coming through and, you know, Jazz was the shit, so, you know. You and him still cool today? Yeah, I fuck with Jazz. Out of everybody that you've met, because, you know, being... Um, a person who watch like celebrities or listen to celebrities on the radio, TV, stuff like that, we get a perception of them of how they are in real life. Mm. And sometimes when you meet these people in real life, you're like, oh, you a prick. Mm. You know, I don't Damn. Have you ever met somebody that you had a certain perception and when you met them, whether good or bad, mm. you know, you're like, oh, they cool than what you thought or, you know, I ain't nigga, even going. I don't rock with that nigga. Yeah, they, they, that's why they don't like me because majority of them, that's what I thought. I'm like, you lying in hell. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You lame. You ain't really about what you say. No, nah, you just lame in hell. Even though you is, you got all you got. Ooh, you lame in hell. I got to ask you this. I, I, I wouldn't be right if I didn't ask you. Would you ever work, you and Jesus, y'all ever working together again on anything? We done did a, um, we done did, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Let me tell y'all this. Y'all might be the first, they might going to get you a whole, a whole lot of views. <laughs> okay. This going to be the first time I pretty much. You giving me exclusive, like, y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get you a, a real, some real insight on this situation. Just to put close, like, to, like every we good, everything all good. It's just like in life, sometimes shit happens. Right? right. So, you know, I hadn't talked to him in a long time, and he called me one time. Okay. And I had talked to him in like five, six years, and you, I'm just keeping it real too. So, you know, when a nigga call, he's like, "What you calling me for?" Mm. Type shit. That's the way I and, do, and niggas. You, you know acting I mean? like me. That's what I'm on. Like, what, <laughs> what, what the fuck you calling me for? But he was having a trap music um, uh, release. Uh, what the, I really? think it was a, a ten year anniversary. Or okay. okay, okay. So he was just calling about the group coming and all of those shit. So we ended, he ended up calling me, telling me, you know, he wanted such and such. Yeah, come to such and such. But you know, you ain't talked to nobody in a long, long time. time. Like, so it's one of those. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It didn't seem real. So it's just like, that's why I play the game how I play the game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not worried about what you think about nothing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or what y'all think. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm just a real one. Yeah. Like, for real. And no matter who and it every is. Every time you see me, I'm going to be that real one that, that you know. Yeah, and that shit, that shit make people feel some kind of way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, it, it, yeah. you know, uh, truth really can't hold a space or exist with a lie. So a lot yeah. of time, a nigga, he, he, he gonna either gonna come to you or move away from you. Yeah, it. but you got, you still gotta respect the game. Yeah, correct. You feel? Yeah, me? yeah. You gotta respect the game. So and and, and it's it's all it's always supposed to be love at the end of the day. Cause you know what I mean, motherfuckers be done did so much shit. Like you just gotta. So when you came for the anniversary, all y'all came together. A lot of those people you hadn't seen in a long time, right? Mm-mm. I still fuck with Gideon Duke. I fuck with a couple motherfuckers, but I don't really fuck with niggas. But they, niggas know 
Yeah. I don't fuck with niggas. I don't so you don't go in don't dapping a nigga up. What's up, my nigga? A long yeah, time. I ain't nah, seen I ain't you in 10 years, nigga. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I ain't seen you in five ride. years, nigga. I ain't doing all the rah, rah, rah shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, nigga, he over there, but it's cool. Yeah, you nigga, you yeah. know, I, I came out of respect of what we done, but I'm really not the one to yeah. even play no fake love type game. For what, bro? We grown. No, nah, I get it. That's you it. know what I'm saying? But you that, you that, shouldn't want to do that with nobody. So. Again, will y'all do y'all? Did y'all make y'all make it something together? Or have y'all done any new music? I don't know about doing no music and all Nothing that else. shit. But we don't we don't came together to do yeah. some shit for for sure for sure. Yeah, that, that's just because it's, it's it's a legacy. So I ain't I ain't gonna be the one that. Do you, you think know, a lot of times, like the boys in the hood and that whole group, do you think that you the reason why a lot of times it don't get back together and the whole thing don't start back bloom? You know, blooming. Like if you saying I don't want to be around certain niggas. You know it what I mean? It ain't that I don't want to be around certain niggas. That, that ain't what it is. Just like I don't, I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with that. Cause you know a nigga love to hear that music again. No fuck they. You want. know I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> no fuck they won't. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. No nigga, you like, go hard with them niggas, man. You killed that. Cause you yeah. say you do a lot of stuff for the fans. Sh- so See, if your fans come shit. to you and be like they want that, you telling me you wouldn't solo. do it? Solo. <laughs> This nigga is, you, you know, anti-social, Yes, bro. I'm fucking anti-social. I don't anti-social. want to be around nobody, bro. You got kids? Yeah, I got two little girls, man. And, and <laughs> one of them... They just, just like you? Nah, one of them... One of them we beefy, because I don't like her. Don't like her. <laughs> she act like you? Nah, she act like a lame man mom. Like, shut up. And then my little bit, my little bit of baby, I'm going through like a little custody thing with her. But yeah, she the one like me. She How old like, are they? She like three. One of them three, and one of them like nineteen. She just turned nineteen. Oh, you have a That's big old crazy. gap. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in between. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That you know of. Nah, I ain't got no more babies. And if if you say they is, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> so if for some reason, I always like to ask this question every now and again. But you know, if God takes you, say tomorrow, whatever, God forbid. But how would you like? For everybody to remember you, wow. everybody needs to leave course. a legacy. Everybody wants to leave a legacy. How would you like everybody to remember you as? Oh, uh, to remember me? Mm-hmm. That's a that's a, a it's deep heavy. question. It's, heavy, mm-hmm. it's like, what do you want somebody to remember you as? Like, you can say what you want somebody to remember you as, but I want you to remember how how the fuck I was. Like, whatever you say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to know whatever you say. <laughs> Because when you don't prove what you are, bro, you should know what motherfucker gonna say about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? You should know what you leaving behind. That's what you living like it for. That's what you live for to to lead that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't dwell on that. I don't care. As long as my babies and the motherfuckers that love me and I, that I love know who I am and got something good to say about me, I don't give a fuck with nobody. Because some people don't think about it. Some people just live their life and don't ever think about it till you actually say the question or put it to them. They're like, you know what? I never really thought about it because people just live their life, mm-hmm. you know? So sometimes by um, thinking about it, they're like, you know what? I need to start to live my life a different way so that I have a legacy. I, I don't want when I go, people just say, I work all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want people to say, well, I gave back. I did this. I helped that person. I, you know, stuff yeah. like that. People want to leave that legacy. You know what's so easy about leaving uh, that kind of legacy? It's doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody want that legacy. Mm-hmm. Everybody can have that legacy. But you got to do it. Got to find that's the what, time to do it. That's what motherfuckers be fucking up at. So right. if you know how you, how you live, bro, if you a good dude, I'm a and, good dude around this old. Raised right. <laughs> no, I'm you being real. I was raised a little bit right. right from wrong. Mm-hmm. You gonna leave a good legacy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we all gonna have pretty much the same legacy. Man, it was a good, good man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna lie. Some niggas wasn't good. They still be saying it. Exactly. That's, that's, that's <laughs> just what they do at the funerals. They, yeah, that was a good nigga right there. Uh, but I'm like that nigga wasn't worth a damn. I will be sitting in the bag. But you know what crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because some people be. Certain way with certain people, mm-hmm. so they try to make this motherfucker think they the best motherfucker in the world, but mm-hmm. you the devil over here, like exactly. You know that shit tricky. Man. Nobody goes both ways because I've heard women in relationships be like, you know, I can't stand him. He he was a mess. He did, 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 did. but you move on to a different woman, and all of a sudden it's like you a different person with that woman. Right? Yeah. Is each she person brought the best out. Yeah, she exactly. brought the best out of him. You couldn't. Yeah. You, yeah, if you would see that, yeah, yeah, you can Yeah, they, you wasn't worth a damn. Yeah. And, and they be getting mad yeah. as ever. Yeah. Like, why you couldn't be that way with me? Why you gotta be a? 
Yeah. They be doing that. Shout out to all my exes, you know, let me go on and say that. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. You know, she got me and all. Yeah, nigga, nigga did what? Level up. Yeah. Yeah, I had to let that be nothing. Hey, get with it. Hey, I... Hey, I applaud, I applaud y'all because y'all. Twenty listen, years, man. I applaud that because this shit is hard. <laughs> this shit is hard to it do. It takes compromising. It's no easy task. A lot of hey, sacrifices. <laughs> this shit hard to do. But listen, I'm gonna keep it real with both of y'all. I'm gonna keep it real, real, real with both of y'all. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And y'all, y'all look nice together. Especially you get your colors on and everything. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, look. But let me tell you something. I just in this era, they had no y'all fight. In this era. I can't do that shit, y'all. Why? It's almost like y'all crazy hell. <laughs> but but at the same time, y'all fatal. Let me tell you it's something. It's possible man. you can find that person out there. But listen, you gotta think. I, <laughs> I, I want to listen, listen, I wanna tell you, I wanna ask y'all the question. I want okay, I, everybody I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the wedding the, the, the um the, the marriage couple. Okay. For twenty years, a real question. Okay. Now to this day, this magic five I was Somebody that was close to y'all, like I'm y'all personal friend. Mm-hmm. Do you still think, I'm asking the both of y'all, mm-hmm. that you can be with this person for the rest of your damn life? I'm talking about for the rest of your life, though. Yeah. Yeah. And then y'all mean it. I mean yes. it. Then y'all fight. The only reason is because of God, <laughs> bro. Fight. You got to understand the reason, Listen, though. Then you got to let me answer no, this. Because, okay, you I, go first. Go ahead. You got it because it really don't have nothing to do with us as much as it got to do for me with the covenant promise that I made before God. Exactly. So it don't really have nothing to do exactly. with what she doing and what I'm doing. But, one, yeah. you know, when you think about standing before God for me and right. making that covenant, because uh, I made a vow to God years before I even met her that I was going to do right. Right. So I'm double down on right, this. Beat out. So I just got to stay focused enough to say I'm not never going to turn my back on God. That's more important okay, than all that stuff. Yeah, the relation, exactly. but yeah, we have our ups and downs, yeah. but I never let a problem be more bigger than our marriage. Right. So I, and, and plus the covenant bond I made before God. Right. I never ever oh, turn okay. my back on that. So if you mad at her and you want to leave her, mm-hmm. just because of the covenant you made with that's, God, you ain't going to leave that's her. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's, that's tricky because you could end up miserable. Not really. No. Because one you know thing about I mean? it, when you live, say, okay. because you got to know the steps. That's tricky. Now. Listen, the steps, the, 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 one, the steps of a good man is all about the Lord, bro. Uh, so you got, I'm the type of guy that I live by that code. Right. So you got to know that code. You yeah, got be to be You got to be done dug deep to even know the code that I live by. Right. Most niggas is playing with it. They don't exactly. know the difference between Hebrew, Aramic, right. Greek. They right. don't know about all the canosity of what I have dealt with to get to who I am today. Right. So it's going to be hard for a nigga to tap into what I deal with. Yeah, I already amazing. know that. So when I deal with people, I already know I have to stay on a certain level just to communicate with them on the level that they own. Yeah. Because at the and it's not disrespect, it's just saying, I know already I tapped into something that was great when right. I dealt with God in my way. For sure. And and so I'll never For be sure. able to explain it because it's unexplainable. Yeah. But I just know what I have between me and him is personal. Yeah. And I told him by promise, if you give me this woman, when I wrote that letter. Yeah, you had to do right. I, I was gonna do right. You had her. to do right. So whatever she do, yeah. whatever, that's on her. Yeah. But but I gotta stand by that code I, I made yeah. with God. That's amazing. Because everything is everything is spiritual. So a lot of times we get we caught up in the flesh. Everybody does. Mm-hmm. And when I say that, I mean out of anger. You know, somebody pissed you off, said something, he did something. I pissed you off. Or, yeah, he pissed me off, or <laughs> vice versa. You know, we both piss each other off every now and again. Yeah. So, you know, we do something that we each other don't like, but at the end of the day, that's, you know, that's the flesh talking. Right. So once you start to take yourself off of the flesh and be like, you know what, I'm not going to let the devil defeat me today. Uh-huh. You know, whether you have to walk off for a second. Everybody, you just have to know the partner you're with. You yeah. know what works for you. So sometimes I have to walk off and send him a text because I know yeah, I lot. can't talk to you face to face right now. Right. I send you a text. But <laughs> you, you, you got to resolve it. Yeah. You can't go to bed angry. You have to learn how to see, resolve it. So, so we special. pray together yeah, and see, all yeah, kind see, of see, this, stuff, this, 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 My something. family, I got kids, man. My son. Yeah, that's <laughs> we so pray special. together, yeah, my nigga. It's different. Let's see, that's something special. But I know y'all watching the world. We see the world. Like, what, what, like, what but we want to heal the world. Yeah, like though. what is that's good stuff. We right want to heal the world because that's the, the reason you? why we do this is because hopefully somebody is watching it who's going through something with their girlfriend, their wife, whatever, and realize that I don't need to walk out this door and say, you know what, screw you, whatever. I'm not coming Damn back. Why people don't stay married no more? 
Everybody want the devil. Everybody want to get married, but why they don't stay married no more? The because they only want the good times. Nobody want to accept the bad times too, and it comes together. I just don't understand. But it's a lot of people that do stay married. It's just the people that you focusing on are not married. It's some niggas out here, it's some people out here that that's you probably too. think lame or don't even fool with. Yeah, that's, that's over here married like hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I it, mean, it, know, it, it's just it's it's something to where whatever you that focus shit, on that, becomes that shit, you. To me, that shit is I just been watching. You like they be hitting because you see them breaking. Folks, it, it be yeah. train wrecks. Yes, bro. <laughs> you know, marriages used to at least go like. Five, six years and shit. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? This on if even if you gonna get divorced, they still would try to hang in there. Five. Let me tell yeah. you, it hurt me, especially because the only reason we're celebrities, you know, when they've been married for 10, 20 years yeah, and then get up. a divorce, I be pissed off. I wanna jump <laughs> yeah, on it. I yeah, wanna go it. in their inbox. Yeah. I wanna call them, find out their numbers and be uh-huh. like, Y'all can work this out. Right. I wish I had their number. Yeah, you know what they, I mean? Because a lot of time they don't understand. You giving up on something into. like that? But it's, really? it's special though. It made major though, especially when you when you know what you got. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's major. Yeah. No, I, think I that, applaud that though. But thank talking. you, man. Jody Breeze is big coming from you because I started I to leave, it, nigga, 10 years ago. Nigga, I was going to get up out of there, but I changed my mind. No, nah, don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Yeah. You, you came you, out. You heard Joe, just because Jody yeah. Breeze told me to stay. You came out on top. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Megahone, all that together. <laughs> no, nah, man. Thank you so much. But that that, that was yeah. a disgruntled woman in the background that's probably the bush. Probably the bush. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, man, we got, what you, okay, top three artists of all time. I gotta Dead get you or out alive, here. any genre. Any genre, number one. Top three of all time? Yeah. yeah. Any genre. Easy. Number one. Lauren Hill. That's okay. High, that's fly. Hell Love y'all it. talking about. Somebody Come else on, did that, man. too. Who number, number, number two. two. Who else want this shit? Number two. <laughs> number two. Andre 3000. Oh, it. did you ever get to work with this dude or talk to him or been in the same yeah. studio? Yes, that's His live. creativity he is. fuck with me. That's live. That's live. That's my one. I, I need like him. It. I need him I'm sitting right with. there. Uh-oh. I need call him sitting right there. Right hey, you I, don't call call I don't fuck with him like that. Call that nigga right there. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to call him. <laughs> yeah. Mess up your call. Yeah, but I fuck with him. Yeah, I fuck with him. Number three. Number three. This the third one. The how, coldest one. How you want me to be like rapper with? It doesn't matter. matter. This Number is your top three. three. Hold on. You bro. forgetting trouble. <laughs> top three. Come on. Number three. That third one. That third one, them, one no, always the hardest. They don't want to hear everybody out. Number no, three. Cause I'm trying to think. I got Lauren Hill. Yeah, I got Andre yeah. three thousand. Now who number three in that thing? Okay, it can be R and B any any genre. Man, fuck it, man. Number three. Man, just give me that. Man, I, don't nobody give brother no love. And I always thought he was hard as a motherfucker until he wanted hard. That nigga treat that. Hey, Somebody that damn nigga. I'm gonna give him from the that my nigga. That's on. Um, trick like, daddy. Nigga, trick daddy was hard as hell. That nigga did his thing. Listen, bro. This nigga one of the hardest niggas ever to spit. I don't give a fuck what niggas talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you done had them conversations with him, right? You're, yeah, he what not. type of dude is trick daddy? I, what type of dude? Yeah, well, well, I never got to talk to him, so I'm asking you if I. You ain't never talked to him. I ain't never met him. You would love Trick. Trick a good dude. I heard he, I see him cooking. Man, Trick He's, the real. You know, the nigga like to cook. Mm-hmm. Listen, man, Trick, Trick, the first rapper that actually came to get me and flew me out to wow. Miami and, like, look, bro, you that nigga. Like, these niggas, hey, ooh, 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 ooh. Like, we that's kicked, love. We bro. kicked it for like two, three days. Man, that's love. Yeah. He, he just first, seen he, something in you. Yeah, he the first rapper to be like, man, listen, man, you come hang with me. This is when he was trick daddy. Like, he, no, 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 the real he trick. He was running shit when Pop had all the strip clubs and we we outside. Damn. This when you could this when a lot of people said it was outside, it wasn't, wasn't outside. couldn't come outside. Mm-hmm. That time. But Trick Daddy was that guy. I remember them times. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just showing you a little some downside no, shit. No, no, that's reason why I love look, it. Nigga, what you talking about? a whole lot of motherfuckers, though. It's, it's, I, got some, I, fuck with, I fuck with some real ones. No, I, I, I definitely get it, man. But yeah. you named your top three, nigga. I'm riding right. with you, nigga. Listen, I don't get Lauren with, Hill, stop nigga. Stop playing with Lauren Hill. Stop playing, man. Everybody Y'all want to stop playing with Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, because, nigga, he, he said that Andre 3000 and yep, that nigga Trick. Daddy, man, it went yeah. down just like that, man. Mm-hmm. But Joe Debris, we love you, bro. I hope this ain't your last time coming on Boss Talk One One. Whenever you in, in you in Texas, yeah, you call. We gonna be like Joe, man, that nigga in Texas, man, that nigga come through, man. Yes, we set these cameras up, Listen, you know bro. what I'm saying? I appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. I salute the both of you, man. Thank you so much, yes, bro. Sir. Like I said, we gonna try to keep it going. Yeah, you gonna put it you know, there. you know, you know, like if oh, you want, oh, you want to talk to her, uh, Brittany. Yes. Give her a cameo. Where she at? With a, with bring a, it. Bring bring that chair. Bring that chair. We need it because she got a couple of questions. She always got a couple of questions. Yeah. Let her get a couple of questions. Some crazy shit.
They got a they got a, a sale going on. Bath and Body Works got the candles too for free. I know. I'm um, buy two get two free. Yeah, I already know it. Else. Come this on, man. This ain't this ain't <laughs> that's what you <laughs> No, we couldn't talk about that. Come on, on, man. Hey, I feel like I'm being set up. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, it's not. You do feel like that? Yeah. What the hell going yeah, on right hey. now? Hey, fix it a little bit. What you feel to do? Look, <laughs> close to him. Yeah, right. You should just be relaxed. I am relaxed. I'm yeah. going to be relaxed. You ain't going to be set relaxed. up. You think you going to set you up? <laughs> I feel like somebody. Brittany Loso is in the building, y'all. She just stepped Brittany in. Brittany Loso. And, uh, you know, she's uh, she one of them wild hair that we have come through. Ain't no telling what she about to ask. She got a little phone with her. Uh, yeah, she Kima, wanted to speak with Jody Green for five seconds. Let's see what's going on. What's yeah. going on, Jody? How you doing? I'm good. What's up? Hey, Jody. Hey. <laughs> do, do the girls, like, you know, I know when they be like, they hit you with that. Yeah, uh-uh, it, Jody. Yeah, they used to do it all the time. Okay, how do you get the name Jody Breeze? Man, to be real with you, it, it, it's really like my alter ego. It's your alter ego. Type what of shit, you what made you? So, what made you? Um, this and, is and actually baby boy was out too. You know, I did mm -hmm. kind of take it. Okay, I, back <laughs> in the day, nobody noticed, but I, before I was Brittany Lowe, so I was like Bree, you know, Brittany Breeze. I was like, you know, they like, no, nah, they don't think you Jody Breeze. I'm you, like, you know what? Oh, you took my last name? Yeah, I was your, I had your last name for a little minute. Oh, okay, You yeah. was, you didn't oh, know okay. that, though. Okay, but, you yeah. a G. You a G. Breezy, baby. That's right. what you call me, yo. Okay, then, little player. I don't even know why I came up with that, though. But you single, though, right now, ain't you? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Pretty much. I mean, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say, like, I don't, do girlfriends and shit like that but oh, okay no but I do got some good yeah I do got some good people okay y'all right. cause ladies I mean he got the dark skin and that's your hair ain't it yeah yeah cause you had the shorter hair on the them boys so it's mm -hmm. been growing yeah, over yeah, time yeah, yeah. so you ain't never did the like the extensions nah the little you know, wings you know I'm not gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not gonna do that I like that now what I like to do is you know we, we kinda closing the gap it's been a minute I heard your new music mm -hmm. and you still got the same Mm. Cadence and you like the last of a dying breed. What did that mean to you? Um, basically just just me just letting people know I'm still I'm still me and I still got it and it ain't going nowhere. Okay, so you're you know not like saying? going extinct or nothing because you know nah. when it says last of a dying breed, that's technically like extinction. Like nah. the like the black rhino right now, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, is right now. I just want people to know that I still got it. You know what I mean? Oh, I can okay. I can do this shit whenever. That's it. Okay, so we gonna break down some of your. Some of your lyrics, cause I, you know, I like to know what the artist was thinking okay. when they were saying certain things. Okay, right. so in this song, in um, it's some boys in the hood sell anything for profit. Five in the morning on the corner clocking. Yeah, we wrong, but they're a nigga to try stop us, and you can get it anywhere, anybody. Um, I'm not a morning person, so five o'clock in the morning on the corner. What advice would you give a, a, a hustler trying to get it that's not at up at five? Like, um, that's not up at five. Yeah, because I'm five oh, o'clock. Trying, trying to make them get up at five. Five in the morning on the corner clocking. Like, yeah. if there's people five o'clock. Like, yeah. what what about the second shift? We I'm used, more of a uh, one to ten. See, see, at, back then at them time we ain't go to sleep. Oh, you know? okay. So, motherfucker up till five. So you just getting up, but we still up. Yeah, five in the morning. You know what I mean. I wouldn't be getting up. I'll be still up. See, I'm a, so I would be up with y'all. Yeah. See, so the, technically, the this is about me. Nah, it's not about you. Oh. You, you went up already. You didn't stay up. You went to sleep. Mm, oh, back then, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. Mm. So if I, even if you ain't up at five, you still can be a hustler and get it. You can, but if you up at five, that mean you. You try yeah, to I hear y'all gotta get up early. Y'all yeah, gotta get up early or don't go to sleep. Yeah, or don't okay. go to sleep. I like that. Okay. Now nah, you don't need to go to sleep though. You, you gotta go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I ain't come to play. You said I demand respect, but I ain't about to kiss no ass to get it. Now, mm -hmm. technically, I can kiss some ass. I, I don't mind just going ahead and buttering up. Mm. To get where I go, but you know you're not about to kiss ass. You know in the music industry, you know yeah, you seen somebody kiss the ass and just you know gets where they trying to go. Or? Yeah, yeah, you got to kiss that. That's what they do. Yeah, it's like part of the game. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I just don't agree with it. That's okay, but that's when you hire people to kiss ass for you. No, none of us kissing ass. Okay, <laughs> no, nobody's nobody kissing click ass. kissing ass. Nah, why? We, why we just can't just be straightforward and just yeah, like yeah. 
ain't nothing wrong with a little fluff though. No. Nah, hey, they were wrong with how you me. doing? They were wrong with them. See, you the type of motherfucker. What? Well, tell see, me. Hold on. See, you the type of motherfucker uh -huh. that's causing some of the problems. Dang. I'm the problem? Ka I'm the trauma? Cause you just want to kiss the boo boo for no reason. You know what? You don't want to stand on there. You just want to just be okay. Well, oh, you want me to kiss it? Okay, fine. Yeah. You gonna give me this? Okay, fine. No. You, you got, know. No. Um, okay. Don't be like. This. I ain't kissing no ass. Yeah. <laughs> so. Straight like so that. So straight like that. Yeah. Breathe. You know. I mean, y'all be, be better bring out Brittany Breeze in a little bit. Yeah. Don't be kissing. On, listen. Don't ain't no more ass kissing. Nobody else. You kissing ass. Okay. Yeah. But I do be kissing ass. So. <laughs> I believe. I believe. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, yeah. all right. So, you know, in Atlanta, you're from Atlanta, right? Oh. Okay. What part specifically? I'm from, I'm from the south side. South side. Okay. Yeah. So Atlanta got a lot of stuff going on right now. Mm. What do you think about what's going on right now with the RICO charges with the artists that's going, like, Young Thug with Ghana right now with, you know. I got my own problems. <laughs> okay. So you like. I got my own problems with the law. Yeah, so you stand out the way. I got my own problems. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how did that ain't go though? How does that go? Break it down for me because, like, sometimes you know they take your songs and use them for, you know, court. I mean, I was just playing. But see, look. I, well, I'm gonna tell you, this. I got a custody case going on with my daughter, and that's what mm -hmm. they do. That's what they knew into me. Wow. They went, they went and took all the pictures off my Instagram. What? They taking all the pictures off everything. Got old pictures and everything. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck do they got to do with me taking care of my kid? At all. You feel what I'm saying? But they just want to, for black men, especially black mm -hmm. men, motherfucker who look like me. Yeah. No, nah, they want you to look like this. Yeah. No matter what you actually look like. Okay. They want you to look like this. They so want you, you to look yeah. like what? What is that? What does that look like? A fucking. To me, you look good. A, like a mad appreciate a, a mad man, and you kissing ass. Yeah, you cute too. You need to stop kissing <laughs> ass. You need to stop kissing <laughs> ass. My but, God. Uh, hey, but for real mm -hmm. though, because this is a serious topic. Yeah, this is. You know what I mean, but um, it's too many. It's too many men, especially when we talk about kids and all that shit. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, they make it way too hard for men to be fathers. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got to fight too hard. Right. To, to take care of something. Which I admire. You, you in, yeah, but admiring it is cool, but fuck out of admiring it. I shouldn't have to go through that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it should be nothing for you to admire. I, this it shouldn't shit should be. It shouldn't. Be, yeah, it should already be yeah, in place. It should be normalized. Yeah. So motherfuckers got to go through all this old retarded shit with these folks and, you know what I mean, deal mm -hmm. with shit. You got to know how to keep your head in and not just be a suck. I'm telling you, the easiest way to live People make this shit hard, but it's easy though. Mm -hmm. Just keep it simple and be you. Be normal, man. Yeah, keep, it's easy to be a star. It's easy to be whatever you saying you is. But like what, what we doing, we mm -hmm. doing. This is normal though. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if it if it was lights, camera, action, and CBS and and, 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 and CNN and somebody else was in here, motherfuckers would have to do this shit a little bit. That's why more. I, I could never mm -hmm. do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's. it's this how shit supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But everybody living like the other way around. So it's like, man, you just, as long as you be normal, you keep it cool, man. Every, every, how can you, every, how can you advise or um, encourage? Because a lot of people going through what you're going through now. A lot of men going through mm -hmm. what you're going through. Court cases. Some men say, you know what? Screw it. When my child reach 18 and I'll deal with it, my child at that time. I don't want to go through all Hell this headache. No. Hell but no. a lot of people, a lot of men do that. How can you encourage a man no. to not go do some crazy stuff? Over his child just because he wants his child and can't deal with all this stress. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I can't encourage him because I'm doing all the crazy shit right now. Mm hmm. You going I, through it? I just got out of jail for 30 days. For, How was that? For, for, for cussing what? everybody out and, and, and contempt of court. Yep, telling these oh, motherfuckers white man. folks, listen, bro, you ain't finna tell me to. Man, listen, y'all playing, for one, you playing with my child. How how old is your child right now? That she fight just for? turned three. She just turned three. But she yeah, you want to be there? Yeah, you and she that. listen. It'd be these lame ass women, bro. Like all women is not bad women, but some women they ain't shit. Yeah, like they they evil. They they just do lame, but they they want to make themselves look like. But this is my thing though, because you're saying, saying that now. You saying that now, three years later. But was that person still lame when you first was laying up in them? Damn. That bitch ain't never been shit. <laughs> 
You know what? Tell I can't you stand you. <laughs> bitch ain't yeah. never been shit. <laughs> but but she a good person, but she still ain't never been shit. Cause he hoe be, be yeah. battered and got down. You know, motherfuckers be fucked up. Women women who do that mm-hmm. are battered, man. They they fucked up. Man, mm. you feel I'm, me? I hate to break in here. Um, uh, you did you get everything out of him? Because I mean, he got another interview. You got to go to. Yeah. Oh, what time is? I, we don't know. We've been sitting there talking. Okay, yeah, it's it's three twenty three. All right, we, we, we got. We, we got. All right, you done said what you had to say. You done gave me the advice I need to have. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with you though. All right, but just don't be kissing no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just I'm just a you I just it, like that. But you got it. I don't think it's kissing ass. I think what I do is already what but, I do, but they label that ass. But I don't mind. What, you I mean, what, what the kiss. hell? Hold on. What the hell kind of shit is? I want my said, ass kiss. I get what I want to get. Man, you crazy. All right, bitch. Same, you can't man. get it. Bring it low, yeah. so. All right, Jody Breeze. I'm all into Jody Breeze in, yeah, in his good. business. <laughs> y'all need to go follow him, though, ladies. Yeah. I don't want to put him on the radar because you know how y'all do. And, and now y'all going to want to make him y'all MCMs and stuff. Nah. But I mean, chocolate skin, smooth too. Long hair, take look, care of his I kids. Ain't, I ain't never went nowhere like these hoes no so me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of look, you kind of look like um, Ladanian Thompson a little bit. Who the hell? Who the hell? He's a like running back. Know. The football you, you, player. Yeah, you giving me, yeah, you like him. Why would you say bit. I look like him? How? A little bit. I don't even know that nigga. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh-huh. Yeah. You gonna make me look him up and he's from here. Side. Fort Worth. No. But now. Shout out to uh, Ladanian. I do know what uh, he's hard. Yeah, he hard. Okay. Five minutes. Not five minutes. Two seconds. Yeah. What happened? We done? Yeah, we it's over. Yeah. They don't even know it yet. They like, where this nigga come See, from? Nigga don't got into this shit though. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just was doing okay, it to bring on, customers in. N- newly corrected. Let me correct you a little bit. Uh-oh. We doing it. Uh oh. Ooh, I know that's hey, right. No, you Did just started editing, my nigga. No, you just started editing. You just started editing. This is a drill. I started editing. I never showed up now. Bro, we went white woman king. We white woman king. I should have. I just started editing. Now she's out. We doing it. That's how they do it. Jody. You ain't hey, got number Bree. no more. As soon as they get a little something, they just take it. We mm-hmm. want to be president no, now. No, we take it and make it better. That's what we do. Yeah. Give us that sperm. <laughs> we going to take it and make it better. Ass Give us a kiss. house. We going to take kiss. it and make it better. Right, 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 right to the edge. <laughs> I, I do like that. Do I like that, though. Hey, Money Moses, man, come in, come in for a second. I want people to see that you still on the show because you standing behind all this stuff. They going to see it in the previews. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, now on this subject, you finna go into You can't do that. <laughs> 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 I got a long subject, so you can't do that. Not with this subject, bro. You know that. Say, Man, now, nah, but we just want to show love to Jody Breeze. In he in the city, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, ain't nobody gonna do what we doing. Uh, we got the Mm-mm. coldest nigga in here right now, and we finna play game with y'all, nigga. We coming up, nigga. Yes, sir. Y'all niggas in trouble, nigga. We done linked up, nigga. It's yes, going sir. down. I'm finna get his number too, nigga. And next thing you know, we fi- I'm flying out there. Yes, sir. He gonna show Southside. you. I'm, yeah, right. We pulling up. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right. Damn right. And we gonna I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. Okay. Oh, really. uh, I yeah. like your little hat too. Already, Thank see how we come with a little wow. sauce, a little splash. You know what I'm saying? I come here looking she different every time. I ain't know who she was coming here looking real different the other day. I know what was going on. I like on. to have diversity. See, you you can feel like you were more than one person. That's what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. In reality.